These days, the software is so good, you don't even have to have a perfect green screen. We have our pull-up screen here, which is really cool. If you can get one of these, these are fantastic. I ended up getting this one for, I think, uh, it was on sale for like 100 bucks. And that's a beautiful day. Hey everybody, it's Ray here, and today I wanna to show you how you can set up a green screen in a small office space. Most of the time, when you're shooting these days, you're not gonna be in a fancy studio, you're gonna be in just a traditional room, and that's exactly where we are today. So I wanna show you how to set up a green screen, how to do the lighting, and how to make sure that you can really get a good video. The great thing is these days, the software is so good, you don't even have to have a perfect green screen, but the better you do it, the better it's gonna come out in the end. So you can see we've got a lot of different things in here. We've got the camera, which we're gonna be moving back a little bit. We've got here, this is our backlight. So this is the light that's actually going to be behind the talent, shooting towards the back of their head and their shoulders, and we'll talk about that in a minute. We also have our key and fill lights here. These are gonna be on the actual subject. And then down here, they're still on the ground. We've got two lights that are gonna be specifically for lighting the green screen. And then we have these two little lights here. Actually got these at a yard sale for $5. Uh, they are just little LED lights. And what we do with those is I actually put them at the bottom of the green screen to kind of fill in those dark areas in the bottom corners, which is fantastic. So let me set this up and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so here we've kind of got our setup. It's a little wild and crazy in here because this is, even though it kind of looks like a bigger space than it really is, it's actually a pretty small space. But what we have, we have our pull-up screen here which is really cool. If you can get one of these, these are fantastic. Uh, back a few years ago, I wanted to get one. They were like $2,000. I ended up getting this one for, I think uh, it was on sale for like a hundred bucks. So they come way down depending upon where you get them. Check on places like uh, uh, Amazon or even eBay for that kind of thing. Now, what we have is we've got a variety of lights. As I said, we've got our backlight. Now, this backlight literally is for when the talent is standing here, that light is gonna hit them on the shoulders and the top of the head, and that's gonna kind of separate them from the background, in this case, the green screen. We have two lights here, which are big, giant lights that are basically just there to fill the green screen. Now, down at the bottom, we have those two little lights that I talked about that I got at the yard sale. Those are just to add a little bit of extra in the bottom corners in case it gets dark down there. And then we've got to finish off our traditional three-point lighting system. We've got a fill light over here, and we've got a key light over here on this side of the camera. Now those can be reversed. You can do those whichever way you want. You can have the fill light on one side and the key on the other, or you can swap those around for your three-point lighting. But the three-point lighting that you always hear about, the key light, the fill light, and the backlight. Okay, those are your three settings that you wanna have. Now the other thing that we have here is we do have a shotgun microphone mounted on a boom. Just make sure it's not in the camera. And of course, we got the camera right in the middle. And that's our basic setup for doing the green screen. Hopefully that helps you out. If you got any questions, of course, post them down below. And of course, if you can do it in a studio, even better. Bigger space, even better. But if you're in a small space like this, you can do a really nice lighting setup without having to go too crazy. And by the way, one thing I should mention, these lights, none of these are very expensive lights. I believe the three lights here with the boxes on them, I think I got that on sale on Amazon for like $100. It came with the case, it came with the stands, it came with everything. And the one little secret I do wanna show before we go, this is one of my special little secrets. Most of these come with uh, some sort of incandescent light. Nowadays, a lot of people use LED lights, which I use a lot of those too, but I wanna show you what we've got in here because this is one of the best finds that I've had. This is actually a, an LED light here. I got this at Home Depot. They actually sell these at Home Depot now, but they're great because they last forever. They're, they're adjustable for the, uh, the different uh, temperatures that you want. I always do daytime light, and especially in a place like this, because right now we do have daylight coming in through the doors and the window in this little place here. But even in the places that don't have windows, it's still nice. I, I like the daytime light better. Now that you can get the lights that do that, that's a fantastic thing. So check out Home Depot for those. They're just big LED lights. Uh, just make sure you get the ones that don't require a ballast because if you get the ones that require a ballast, they look the same, they won't work at all. They won't even turn on. So just make sure you get the ones that don't require a ballast and you should be good. I've replaced all my lights that I used to have uh, with these particular lights because they are very powerful 
and they work well and they don't get that hot and they don't take up a lot of energy and they last forever. So be sure to check them out. Again, any questions, post them down below. We'll be glad to answer them and we'll talk to you guys in the next video. And it's a beautiful day.